Moving on, I went to quickly highlight this news I thought was pretty cool. This is courtesy of Mixmag and it and it's talking about a site that I use quite often to buy tickets for my nights out um, called TicketSwap. And it says here, Dutch marketplace platform TicketSwap launches in the UK. TicketSwap has expanded in the UK, offering customers the opportunity to buy and resell event tickets, which is weird because I've been buying them for a while, so I don't know what they mean. Maybe they mean they're opening an office here, but I've definitely bought many, many tickets, maybe in the hundreds from TicketSwap being in the UK. That is a safe and easy way to exchange tickets. The company claims to protect people from overpricing and fraud. Despite only just launching in the UK, the platform already has 1.5 million users across Britain and Northern Ireland. Tickets on the concert to day trips are available. Upload to the site with tickets up limited the markup of the original sale price at a maximum of 20 percent operating since 2012 the site has also opened up in sao paulo stockholm berlin paris madrid milan and krakow hans uber or hans oba ceo of ticket swap said in a statement we're delighted to formally enter the uk market having already built a huge community of more than 1.5 deactivated deactivated dedicated live music fans all over from the last years here he added it is clear that there's a need for another innovative resale platform in the uk and we look forward to working alongside the most respected and innovative brands in the period's music to get as many fans and his artists shows as they love as possible the thing i really appreciate and love about ticket swap is that it came at the perfect time for me i felt like whenever i stopped buying tickets on facebook was around the same time facebook turned into fraud I don't know if you notice, but every time you try and buy a ticket on Facebook for an event that's sold out, for some reason you get a message from, usually the, the kind of process is there'll be an event page on Facebook for the event that you want to attend. And in the discussion bit of the page, there'll be people posting, hey, I've got tickets for sale, I've got tickets for sale. But for some reason, the majority of the people saying this aren't really people or it's catfish or it's a scam. And it's somebody using a picture of someone you know, it's usually women. They'll have a picture of like a, a lady with a kid so that you can trust them or some guy with a cat or something, right? And those will be the ones that they try and hustle you for. And usually they've always got an abundance of tickets. It's never just one. It's always like, oh, I've got 25 or I've got 10 or something. And then once you get talking to them, they always want you to send the money first and never want to show the ticket. The one time I did get the scammer to show me a ticket, it was literally just a screenshot that looked like any other ticket. It looked like what you'd find if you typed in ticket template sample or something on google images it looked absolutely horrendous and i've always wondered what happened to facebook in terms of tickets that way i wonder if this is something that happened as a consequence of the pandemic because everybody during lockdown and pandemic didn't have any way to make extra money or maybe some people were completely unemployed so the best way to sort of hustle and to get some peas is to kind of get into the mar into the fraud and scam market and that's why a lot of kind of refund scams happened during the beginning of the pandemic with amazon maybe that's why all the flipping tickets can happen to facebook but regardless um there was a real gap in the market for a place where you could buy tickets and be okay that they're legit because again the process that i used to use if i used to buy one on instagram or twitter would get the person to basically send me a screenshot of the ticket they could blank out the code or whatever they wanted but just so i knew the ticket did exist and you can maybe tell from the background of the phone they're using bloody blah, blah blah that their ticket was somehow legit but you're still taking a chance and it was always a weird one because it felt like you know it's one person that's scamming you having to create a whole entire profile and every time they scam you no, one time they scam you, you're going to get scammed probably once, you'll fall for it. They're going to only hit you for like 20 quid. So it's kind of a weird scam because you have to set up a whole new account and then try and scam somebody else for 20 quid. But you can only do it during the weekends, right? Because that's when most events are happening from like Thursday to Sunday or even Thursday to Saturday only. So it's a real weird scam in that regard. But I really do appreciate it because what you do on there is that all the tickets are listed or are stored on the website so that when you purchase it from somebody who's listing it for sale it automatically gets sent to your email address you don't have to wait for somebody to send it to you you don't have to get you know whatever else it just gets automatically sent to you and then if you're this person selling it like i have once before the money gets deposited in your account within like three to five business days and it works seamlessly honestly i haven't had to email or message anybody at ticket swap i've just used it pretty easily and kind of got going with it so it'll be crazy to it'll be good to see how it develops over the years but i would also like this to kind of be done on sneakers imagine if there was a marketplace existed similar to maybe StockX, where you could buy legit authentic limited edition shoes but the 
resale was only capped at a certain amount maybe it was 50 percent, maybe it was 20 wherever it may be so that people that actually went to wear the shoes could have a second opportunity to buy them now it didn't it wouldn't mean you'd have masses amounts of stock but it would be like one place where you could go where you could maybe have the chance to purchase something that you had no option or no chance of purchase beforehand i think that'd be a really good option going forward i would love that but the way the sneak industry now is they love to flip in they actually love the chase. They love people kind of thirsting and crying over the shoes. So I doubt that'll happen anytime soon. But I would like to see that implemented in some regard regarding what TicketSwap is doing now. So big up TicketSwap. Hopefully the UK launch goes well and they keep building because like I said before, I'm a big, big fan of the site and I use it all the blimmin' time.